Police are sounding the alarm tonight over organized crime in this province. They say gangs from Metro Vancouver are on the move and claiming new territory. Leah Hendry has our top story. We have seen a 300% increase in the complaints of marijuana grow ops in this region. And these aren't just mom and pop operations with a couple hundred plants. Since September, a special RCMP task force has busted 27 marijuana grow ops, seizing more than 54,000 plants. Each operation worth a million dollars or more. Look at the sophistication of the generators. Look at the amount of electrical boards that go into a grow op. That requires an enormous amount of expertise, an enormous amount of capital to fund that operation. Daryl Plekis is a criminologist who specializes in grow ops. He says the operations today are 10 times bigger than they were a decade ago. We're Columbia North. Like we have to seriously do something about this. Police say the grow ops are connected to people from the Lower Mainland and have ties to organized crime overseas. This is directly linked to the international trade of guns and cocaine. They're going where the money is, and they can make a lot of money from this. Since September, six unregistered firearms have been seized and 24 people have been arrested. None of those charged remain in jail. Right now, if someone is caught in a grow up, the average sentence is three to four months. We need to move towards the kind of thing which is before the Senate right now in terms of minimum sentences for people involved in grow operations. And I would argue even that legislation doesn't go far enough. Plucka says if Canada is really serious about cracking down on grow ops, sentencing needs to be beefed up. Leah Hendry, CBC News, Vancouver.